So, <clears throat> I just played the uh, Suffering Pack that Kami and Scooty have both been struggling with, and I know some other people have as well. And I got it on the first try. I got really good at high rolling with it. Or, should I say, I got really lucky with high rolling with it. And I figured I would just show the replay of how it went, because it was kind of crazy being able to uh, win the week. Um, I've noticed that everybody has always been going for health. Um, and I know Cockroach is one of the good ways to usually do that, so I went for uh, trying to get level ups for turn 3 as usual, like everybody does. I didn't really even have a major plan other than hopefully getting Tropical Fish and then being able to level it as well as Crab. And um, obviously, you see, I lost the first round. Not really surprised, but it happened. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we get two level ups for next turn, so that's pretty fantastic, and, uh, this team has no health, so luckily for me, I'm able to win because of that. So early wins, I noticed, are one of the big ways to make this whole thing happen. Uh, if you don't get the early wins, then it kind of gets screwed, and we roll right into a double crap. And a tropical fish, which is absolutely fantastic. And then another tropical fish. <laughs> so I'm sitting here like, okay, well, I want all the health I can possibly get. I'm not going to grab right now. I want to get as much health as possible. So I split it. I'm just split them, and I'm not even planning to keep the gecko. It's just there because it's got the most attack of it. So luckily, right now, the. Uh, the cockroach has enough health for us that uh, it is able to kind of clean up in the middle. Unfortunately, that was a draw, but it's still better than the loss. And we roll into another crap. So here, I don't even really know what I was looking for. I was just kind of hoping maybe for some more crabs more than anything. Because um, obviously I can't hit a drop of the fish, and I get two more crabs. <laughs> So, most would say, is it, you know, really worth it to go for level 3 crab? Not necessarily, because 100% is nice, but I was also thinking earlier, the worse the better it is. Um, if I can get it level 3, I don't even have to get this cockroach really high in health. I can just get it up to like 25 health and leave it that way and have a 50 health crab. And of course, I've got two shrimp, and I was just like, okay, well, I'm just gonna feed the crap out of this crab and just let him eat all the health off of the cockroach. And I'm trying to keep the tropical fish kind of split, because I'm still trying to keep it to where the crabs don't get sniped as easy. We're, we're playing custom packs. I don't want a dolphin, a mosquito to kill them. That would be just absolutely horrible. So... We still haven't hit a tropical fish, which sucks uh, to get that level up, but, you know, I can't really do everything, so here I'm just trying to stack more health on the cockroach, and I keep rolling into shrimp and broccoli. So broccoli for the cockroach, shrimp for the crab, and then we get the level up on the other crab, so now we have two level two crab, and I get to level it on turn seven, which is also fantastic. And, uh, I didn't even really watch most of these games. I was so stressed out because I was high rolling so much that I didn't actually watch the battles live. So most of these battles I'm actually watching for the first time like all of you. I haven't even watched the replay. So, level it up and I get a seal. And I was like, you know what? I need more attack. I am taking the seal. Um, and I would have honestly put the broccoli on the cockroach and the shrimp on the crab, but I was like, you know what, I think it's going to be better if I just stack them on the seal, just so I can get more attack on this crab, because the crab is carrying us right now. The crab is doing all the work, and the shrimp cockroach were just clean up. So, we even got a 618 crab in the background right now that's, that's still left to go. Um... So there, I'm, I'm just trying to get more health on the crab. And then, otherwise, I'm just trying to get attack across the board. Because at this point, I was thinking I was just going to keep two level two crap. I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to level them. There's no real reason for it. 
Let's just keep the tempo of this going on, and we haven't lost a single game, so just move it on out. But, uh, I had the Tropical Fish on turn 9, so I level that on turn 9, and I get an Ostrich. So I was like, screw it, we're going Ostrich. So I got Ostrich and Crab, level 3, and I get four tier fives, and I'm just like, at this point, I'm, just, I'm freezing the shop. I'm going for tempo. I'm just going to hunt for shrimp and broccoli, and just keep going. And I mean, there's misplays in here. I honestly don't play this game as much as I used to. Um, this was probably the first time I played this game, and honestly, I was it's kind of crazy that I got this much of a high roll. And there we go. We got another victory, so we're up to six wins. We have five hearts still, and now I'm just, again, still just feeding the crab and the cockroach, just trying to get the health there. And honestly, it probably would have been smarter at this point to just feed the seal to get the attack across the board. Um, and I really wasn't paying attention because I think now he's getting, the crab is getting 50 health. That's 43. So we still need a little bit more health on cockroach, but 43 health at this, at, at turn 10 is pretty dang strong. And I'm taking all these tacos, uh, just hoping that they'll hit the seal. And even if they don't hit the seal, I should hope, I mean, I, I need to get the health, the attack on one of two, either the seal or the crab, and I've basically got, you know, like a 40% chance of that, well, 60% chance of that hitting, so... I'm just trying to get this crap. And I'm honestly getting pretty lucky with most of the teams that I'm facing. They're not insanely strong, but it is, again, turn 11 and now 12. And I don't even need to put any more health on this crap. We're at 8 wins. I finally get a uh, another tier 5. So, pretty sure I freeze that. And then we keep getting uh, ice cream. And I'm just like, I'm keeping all the foods that are targeted, that are actually give stats, or just blankets that are just high chances of eating the seal or the crab. Good luck, I think this is one of the first, uh, first teams we actually face that has a melon. And the ostrich is now big enough that he can do cleanup, and I think now is whenever I finally decide that I'm going to move the ostrich up into uh, second position behind the crab, uh, just because he can be more of the cleanup crew than anything, and this was like my potato, just just to get a little bit more attack on everybody. Final buy, and here we go. Turn 13, 9 wins, 0 losses, well, 1 loss at the very beginning, but 5 hearts. And we face a fairly large team, and I was, I actually watched this one because I was worried sight. But the freaking cockroach at the back takes us to victory with five hearts. First attempt with the challenge pack that everybody's been dealing with, the suffering pack. It's uh, amazing that I was able to do this on the first try. Um, and I was super excited with all of the, the hits that I got. I don't think I had a bad hit on any of my level ups. And all of the rolls into the crab and the cockroach made it amazing as well so anyway thanks for watching